Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Iron Guard. I don't know why this week is the week for, um... Let's see, I don't know why this is the the week for... For first-person shooter roguelikes. For whatever reason, it feels like my gun's a little bit too far off to the right for whatever reason. I've been playing too much Fallout, I think. Is that an enemy? What is going on here? I don't know. I'm gonna switch back to my pea shooter. Doesn't look like I can shoot those rockets out of the sky particularly easily. Alright. Yeah, I can't shoot the rockets out of the sky, period. Huh, weird. Alright, but yeah, for some reason this this is the week of the first person shooter roguelike. Those are mines, good to know. I'm learning. Um, can I shoot them? I can, in fact, shoot them. I'm just gonna hold down fire. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I figured I'd pick this one up, see if it was any good. I'm getting a nicer vibe from this one to some degree. This one has, uh, level design. Which I will... I will admit is actually kind of super nice. I... I liked the idea of, is this a minion? Can I break it? I have no idea. It doesn't look like it can break it. Alright, guess we're gonna leave it alone. Um... But yeah, I like it. I like the design of this one a little bit more, just uh, than Polygod. I'm gonna be comparing this one and Polygod pretty hard. Uh, if you haven't seen my Polygod playthrough, maybe check it out. I don't know. Uh, it seems it seems like it's relevant. I gotta for, gotta remember. I've got a I got a charge move that I can do. Of course, both enemies are gonna be right here. Why wouldn't they be? Let's grab our health back. There's a guy over here. Yeah. Uh, but. I actually really like first-person uh, shooter roguelites. Sorry, not roguelikes. I know some people get really triggered by that one. Um, personally, I find the distinction uh, kind of meaningless. I know what roguelikes are necessarily uh, somewhat, but at the same time, app they're directly above me. I wonder if they can shoot down. Probably not. Uh, mainly because of fancy guns. And, uh, mainly because of fancy guns and tower, tower of guns, both, or fancy skulls, both of which were amazing. I liked heavy bullets a fair amount. I never got into parallel nautical activity, mainly because I knew the developer was kind of a shit to begin with. Um, and it's one of those where it's like, eh, let's, let's see if I can find another one that rivals tower of guns. I love tower of guns. And so this, this week's, uh, additions are Polygod, Iron Guard. Uh, both of which seem to be a little bit on the early, early access side of things. I have yet to see more than one type of enemy here, which is kind of painful. Why is everything explosion? Yeah, exploding around me. I don't know. Anyway, let's kill this guy. Let's clear that out. Luckily, all the enemies seem to drop health pickups. I'm kind of appreciative of that. Do we get? What is that? Ammo collected. Ah, neat. Can I break this? Ah. So I can. Okay. I like the fact that the pistol is unlimited ammo. Oh. Let's go for the let's go for the rocket turret first. It has terrible accuracy. Also, it doesn't help that the. Okay. Yeah, that that hurt a little bit more than I'd like. Next time. Next time we don't just totally ignore the, uh, or, don't totally try and jump over the spinning blade trap of death and destruction. That is how pain happens. Okay. Let's just slowly shoot our way through this. Sounds like there's an enemy on the other side. Yep, there he is. Totally sucks the combat. I'm glad that their ammunition disappears when they die. It doesn't need to, but it's nice. Okay, ah! I even knew that there was at least one more enemy remaining. There we go, that's all of them. I... are you kidding me? Alright, what did I get? A uh, shield generator. Take no damage in the next 20 seconds. Oh, I see. It's uh It's like an invincibility shield. Okay, there we go. I'm trying I'm trying to be kind of reviewy here. Talk about stuff. It's not working great. Love the fact that there's a map. Love the fact that there is actual procedurally generated rooms here. Uh and you know, a, a lot of room to move around. Um going to be totally honest. Uh if you're gonna make an FPS roguelike, you definitely want to have different level design that isn't just like total procedural generation. That gets really boring really fast. And to be fair, what this game does is just has a bunch of pre-generated room chunks 
that you can um that, that you can walk through and you know it'll lead you to presumably some new and interesting place these bombs are a little bit scary but we're fine oh they come towards me good to know okay presumably we've got another set we've got another one of these missile dudes luckily they don't track particularly well actually reminds me pretty heavily of this okay glutton doubles health game from all sources halves your max health I'll take it I'm glad glad to see that there's kind of a substantive passive upgrade system wait what is this Oh, there's a treasure chest in this next room. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be this. It's got a crossbow for me. Okay, so I've got a crossbow, a beam rifle, and my pistol. Well, let's go back to the beam rifle for the time being and see if it's any good. I was using the pistol just because it seemed like a reasonable idea. Love the fact that there's a map. Now's a good time to die. Damn it. Walked my ass straight backwards and failed and whatever. Okay. Let's see. Pause menu lists all weapons and items you're currently holding. Cool. So is there a progression system in this game? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's cool. Each floor contains a shop and an item room. Yeah, so... What is this? Plasma shield. Primary. Short... Range, area damage, alternative, fire, empowered primary, but consumes all energy. Passively reflects, reflects missiles, consumes rechargeable energy instead of ammo. Righto. Here, can I take another look at it? So, reflects missiles. I like this. I'm gonna call it a gun. Even though that's technically a lie. I don't like the fact that it covers as much of my, uh, my screen as it does. Because that's kind of inconvenient. Okay, I want to see how this works against missiles. Okay, I gotta watch out for the... Oh, wow, yeah. It does just straight up reflect missiles. Yeah, let's see if I can stand in a place where it's going to just reflect missiles at this guy. Okay, so I'm taking damage here, so I should probably kill them. Okay, I think I got one of them. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Really, I should just stand underneath them instead. That's honestly the smarter idea. I'm just curious. This is a weird gun! Gun is a limited term. Okay, so I can say this right now. The issue with this game is very singular. The enemies are boring. This feels like uh, the developer saw Tower of Guns and thought it was a wonderful idea, but uh, didn't have the chops to make uh, as interesting of rooms. All right, so we already know that this, this room sucks. We've also got all these bombs all over the place. These bombs are terrifying. I'm gonna see if I can bomb. A oh, we've got limited range, of course. Okay, luckily I have a shotgun of a sort. And a coin. Ow, what? Oh, what, 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 what? I'm not sure. Must have been one of the bombs coming close to me or something. I don't know. This is weird. But cool. We took a lot of damage in this room. This room's gonna take some getting used to. Let's switch to the pistol for this one for the time being. Seems like it's a little bit more reliable for not dying. Alright. I don't see anything around here. But yeah, so... Uh, okay. Back to what I was saying. There are two very singular issues in my mind for this game. One... Uh, the levels are kind of boring and limited. I mean, effectively, there's nothing but, uh... There's nothing but these just, like, kind of flat rooms. The design ain't bad. I'll give it that. But the the problem is... Yeah, the reflects missiles thing I gotta be better about. This doesn't quite work the way I think it's going to. Hello. What do we got here? 
Okay, so flight for 30 seconds, passive killing an enemy, movement speed and fire rate. We need to external movement effects. Get weighted armor, I think, for the time being. You got anything cool with you apart from this? Junk shop. Cute. Let's see if I can get some more pickups. I'm probably gonna die here. This is gonna probably take some getting used to. I'm gonna commit to this shield gun just because I got nothing better to do. Okay. Guess we gotta go for these first. Okay. Grab this. Don't die. Pea shooter the rest of the way here. I should have stayed down low. Oh well. I actually really wish the map would last. Like if uh, if I could keep the map up in a corner the entire time, that'd be really nice. Just kind of a basic roguelike map. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful about uh, splash damage here. Splash damage is what kills me. Okay. Do we still have this guy? We do. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is he's got some amount of a... Uh, what am I thinking? He's got some amount of a... A splash... Well, a spread to his missiles. And really what I should do is just switch to the pistol. I just, I want to commit to the shield. I want to learn how to master it. Uh, this feels like a boss. Let's leave this alone. This really does feel a lot like Tower of Guns, going to be totally honest. Which I actually really like. It's it's familiar. Um, but yeah, the other, the other issue is, apart from the level design, I mean really I just feel like verticality is really nice in, in first person shooter roguelikes. This is very, like, old school. Um, the other issue is purely, in my mind... Wait, no, we haven't been in this room, have we? No. The other issue, in my mind... Okay. That went poorly. Uh, the other issue in my mind is that the enemies are dumb and boring. I mean, we've got spinning blade traps, which are fine. We've got floating bombs, which are fine, but... I feel like they're kind of cheap shoddy more than like the floating bombs and tower of guns. I love the floating bombs and tower of guns. Cause they felt um they felt worth fighting. The enemies in this one are just like, I don't know, here's some health pickups and then you're done and I guess that that to me feels a little bit less interesting. I always loved uh blasting apart a small group of, of, like, tightly clustered bombs and Tower of Guns, and having them, um, blow up in a shower of, well, goodies. Love that. Okay. I'm just gonna keep away from that. Be nice, instead of having a collective health bar for the whole, uh, for the whole, oh, interesting. Loot absorbs into you. Uh, if you complete the room. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go... Guns blazing, sort of, here. Okay. Just gonna keep back for a second. We wanna take out this. The turrets aren't shooting at me particularly well. Nice thing is, it looks like the, um... It, it looks like the the turrets stop shooting at me the moment I leave their 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 view. Actually, like the lighting there too. Are we done? No. We've got at least one guy more who I'm almost certain. Oh. I was gonna say I'm almost certain it is on the other side of the room. I was in fact wrong. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I just enjoy having, like, quintuple jump and, like, high-flying my way through levels like these. And, you know, really having a blast like that. And these levels feel very basic. You know, find a little bit of cover, hide behind it, shoot. Uh, I mean, there's only one type of shooting enemy that I've run into so far. What's this? Reduces all credit costs by 50%. Kind of wish I had grabbed that before we went shopping, but oh well. Uh, let's see. I should probably go see how the actives work. But, 
ultimately, I think this is probably a stronger contender for next FPS roguelike, just because the guns so far are interesting. I mean, the fact that I have a weaponized shield, there's a crossbow, beam rifle, pistol, pistol's always good. Like, all of all of that actually works quite well in terms of creating, like, a, an interesting game. I just want to see more interesting enemies, and honestly, uh, visually, this game is not super impressive. Okay, so what do we got here? Victory push. Killing an enemy. I'm gonna get victory rush. The flight would be interesting, especially for 30 seconds. Might not, might have actually been a good idea going into the boss. Oh well. Also looks like there's a level system and some other thing. I, I don't know, this is... This is weird. Not used to games like this. Let's switch to the pea shooter. If, if we're going to be fighting a boss, I'm probably going to want something long range. Ah! 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 Okay. Ah. I see how it is. I am near death. And what was that? I don't know. Oh, that was the hammer he threw. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know. I, I I will admit, I like this. It just needs uh, maybe a little bit more interesting levels. I, I guess really I'm just spoiled by Tower of Guns. It needs more enemies. I, I can be fine with the lack of verticality. I can be fine... With the the kind of grungy, slightly out of date visual style, but as it stands, I need enemies that are way more interesting than this one. The turrets ain't bad. Really, do remind me of like the the basic turret enemies from Tower of Guns. Bombs bombs remind me of, you know, so on and so forth. Like it can draw similarities, but because it doesn't match up, uh, it, I'm I'm going to be whining about it, and it's a problem. Now, the one thing I will give this game that I really do like is the power-up system seems to be very interesting. It also looks like there's several other bonuses. Now, I'm gonna hit play one more time. I want to check something. Um. Uh, but you know the power-up system feels really good to me. What's this? Double barrel shotgun, scatter blaster. Well, uh, short range damage. Alternative fire seems to be like a, a cluster shot. Limited ammo, but that's okay. But yeah, no, the, the gun variety and the passive upgrade system and presumably whatever that level is, that actually could be really cool. I can't wait to see more of how this plays out. So this this actually feels like a roguelike that I'd be willing to play more. Plus, we haven't even seen what the enemies look like on later levels. So it might actually get more diverse and more interesting or it might stay really boring and really lame. I don't know. We'll find out. But either way, there is some promise to Iron Guard and I'd like to see where it goes. So I guess with that, if you guys like this uh, basic impressions video slash kind of uh, cascade of failures, uh, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below, because, you know, I'm still on the wall. I love roguelikes, but uh, it feels like uh, people on my channel don't like them as much anymore, which is always a bit of a shame. Uh, and, oh, weird, the gun model. Oh, I see. There's there's two barrels. It's just the, the pin on the middle is messing with my head perspective-wise. It's because the gun is so far to the right. It's like I have my arms, like, reaching out and around. I don't want ever. FPSs are strange. Uh, but yeah. So, I guess if you want to see more Iron Guide, hit, hit subscribe, because I actually am probably going to play more of this. Uh, it, it, it tickles the old fancy that uh, Tower of Guns did, but in maybe slightly more of an interesting and new way. Don't know. But one way or another, I will see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.